Hey Pisces, welcome to my channel. My name is Lavi and this is your tarot reading. It's a timeless reading, so anytime you watch the video, this is for the following seven days. Only take what resonates with you and leave the rest. And if you enjoy the video, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below. And with that, let's get to it. Ah, uh, so, dear Pisces, so the first thing comes out first is I've got two aces for you. So this could be a new beginning, this could be a new relationship, this could be a big win for you, a big career opportunity for you. So something um, come into your life now that will give you a huge reward. So let's start with that. However, this reward or this change, because sometimes the, it, it could be a change that brings something later on into your life. It might not come the way that is going to be obvious. It's not going to come into in, in, in your face, let's say that way. It might slowly going to creep up and you might later on going to realize like, wow, this was the best that could happen with me. And why are you going to get the reward? Because you started going out from your comfort zone. You started making changes in your life. You didn't let that cancer trying to hold you back. Could be a person, could be your friend, your family, your, your colleagues, your business partner, your lover, whatever is that. Somebody tried to hold you back and say, no, stay here. Or it's your subconscious as well wants to keep you in that lukewarm water. It's good for you here. You've been here for long enough. You know this place already. You know everybody here. We all like you. We all love you. Whatever, whatever. And you don't go on the journey that leads you to enlightenment. Why? Because you want to stay in the lukewarm water. So, the now, so now the universe is giving you opportunities to get out of your comfort zone, to learn something new, to go to a new place, to be with new people, to whatever you want to do, start a new, a new job somewhere, a new opportunity, or start your own business finally. It's going to be good we for you to consider something completely new. But the decision has to be made. You can't look at the world anymore and look at like, I wish I had that, or I wish I had this, or I wish I could do, or go there, or or experience that, or meet that person, whatever. You cannot wait for that to happen. You need to make the decision. And that decision might lead you to this dark forest where everything is scary around you, where you can't see properly, where every noise, every little movement, you imagine dragons or something, a wild animal. But you know, you stick with the journey and you know, I know where I'm going. And you know where you're going? Where the sun comes up. Because after a darker night, the darker the night, the, the nearer is the dawn. What does it mean? It means that you should not be afraid. Because sun always comes up. There is never a devil, uh, de there was never devil, there was never a double night. And this is where the devil comes. Try to tell you, freak you out. And say, no, 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 it's scary, don't go there. And if you start walking in that journey, something might change in your life drastically. Because we have here a tower. Something to be you believed is so, it turns out it's not so. You put yourself in a prison, and the prison is crumbling down now. You build walls around you, and now the universe is saying, you cannot have these walls anymore. We're going to break them down. So you become free. How are you going to deal with this? How are you going to deal with it when you finally can breathe again? When you finally can go out and feel your full potential, you can feel your energy raising, your, your vibration, your frequency, you become so attractive, you become so passionate, so driven, so um, likable. We have here a strength, strength card for you. 
You are taming that fear. You are taming that lion you have inside you. And you know, you are Pisces. And this is a fire sign. This is a fire card. And it's so nice to see that, that um, what you are doing with your life, with yourself, finally, is like finding the drive, finding a passion, the joy. So you're no longer just like, uh, swimming around under the sea like I don't know where I'm going now you're saying like I'm like a dolphin jumping doing tricks or like uh, like um, whales amazing finally you have this drive this passion how great is it and, and like dolphins you know swim together and, and they're having all these joys I don't know how dolphins come to my mind from from the, uh, the lions but I, I think the passion, the, the, the desire, the joy will explain it. And you're going to be so lovable. You're going to be so romantic. You're going to be in the mood of, I want to give love. I want to get love. I just want to hug the world because I feel so good. Because finally, I'm out of the prison. Finally, I'm ready. Finally, the world created this new opportunity for me. The universe is giving me a chance. And we have here the uh, emperor and the empress. So interesting. You might find somebody, maybe your soulmate, maybe somebody who, who you feel good about being with that person. And you're going to feel like, you know what? This is the direction I want to take. It's interesting. It could be masculine and feminine energy inside you as well if you are not meeting that person or if you, if you haven't found it yet. Or even if you found it, you might feel maybe it's not the person. But it doesn't matter. It could be masculine and feminine energy in you which want the wealth, the happiness, the joy, everything. You want to be in control with your life. But because we have here the, the Knight of Cups, there is a romantic energy. You might be with somebody who you, who you really like. And also the, the Empress here is pregnant. That means that you're going to receive the reward and you're going to have the, the, you can, um, the harvest in about nine months time. Because you invested so much time in what you were building, your life, your career, your joy, your relationship, your family. So now it's time to have, to have those rewards that the universe is willing to give you. You're making the right choices. And it doesn't matter which you choose because now your vibration is so good that any direction you take, it's going to be the right direction. What you need to look into is your communication. So while we are moving to the right direction here, but at the same time, there will be a choice how you're going to communicate to others. So you can do it with patience you can do it with a very calm you can come from position of strength you can come like you know like uh, when you just woke up after after uh, an, an afternoon nap and you're a bit slow but you know like i had a good nap i had a good uh, little sleep you know and, and i don't want to raise my energy when people are you know shouting around you and running around you and it's just oh i don't want to have that so you had the blissful time so keep it that way. Don't let the night of uh, swords fool you. And because this is your ego trying to say, oh, this doesn't work out. Go, run, find, hit, jump, kill, shout. You don't want that. You want to be very precise with your communication and with your movement and keep everything under control and take it to the next level. But look at the difference between these two nights. I can't even, exp I can't even explain. I think the card itself show you. Look at one is coming with love, with the cups in his hand, offering. The other, other one is running with the sword. Which person you would like to be with? It doesn't matter if it's a man or woman, masculine. It doesn't matter. It could be a... a, a um, a princess on the horse if you're looking if you're watching this video as a, as a man still which one would you choose the one is chopping the one is shouting screaming at you 
or the other one is offering your love. So dear Pisces, this is your card. You look at you. It's 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 you. The full emotional state, the positive outcomes. You see the emotions, the the river running underneath. It's make the soil fertile. Look at this guy here. It's it's just sand, pile of sand. He's already killed everything with his mouth, with his chopping. Look at this manifestation. Fourth of ones, 11, 11. Family, friends, group of people, joy, abundance. This is what you are going for. This is what you want. And if something or someone don't give you this, if you only receive headache, you only receive the prison, it's not your place. Remember, you are Pisces. You need to swim around. You cannot be put in a prison because you die. You can't hold on. Or nobody can hold on you in, in a bowl of water. You are more than that. Follow your inner guidance. Follow your light. Follow that star. Because that's going to always tell you what you need to know. And I think something great is coming your way because now we have the third aces, which is emotional fulfillment. It's the ace of cups. So we have here the, the ace of pentacles, the ace of uh, uh, wands, and the ace of cups. So, dear Pisces, this week for you going to bring you a brand new beginning in many ways. It's going to give you some joy, but it's going to give you some headaches as well. The way how you communicate can make the difference. Be honest with yourself, with others. Show love rather than um, hurt others. Show the caring side of you. Show the, in, um, the um, sensitive side of you rather than the rigid, the strong, the masculine side. Open up. Dear Pisces, let me know how you feel. How does this resonate with you so far? Leave a comment below in the comment section, please. And now let me give you a couple of cards from the Sacred Destiny Oracle. Healing Chaos. Flow, the Moon again, and the Inner Peace. So, Healing Chaos, you see the tornado here. So, it seems like you are at the A of the tornado right now, which is very peaceful. So, this is where you find your inner peace. And look at the fishes on the card. Inner peace, because you are in a flow. Don't let anything and anybody take you out from your flow. You are going to the right direction. Nothing and nobody should stop you. But if somebody tried to take you out from your um, peace and tranquility, don't let that happen, please. Now, let me give you a card from the message from the fairies. A romantic partner. Well, I told you you are very romantic this week. Let's see what's the romantic Oracle was the only time will tell if that's the right one, but let's take one more. Oh, it's too many. Let's take one more. Forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on past events for life too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. Something new come in your way, but first you have to get rid of the past. The past is the past. 2022 is gone. It's a new year now, new beginning, new opportunities, new chance, new choice. And now, let me give you all the message from the moon. There's so many moon cards here for you. Take time to breathe out. Communication. Before you say what would come to your mind first, that word that would be hurtful, take a breath. 
balance, spirituality, and practicality. Full moon in Pisces. In Pisces. And one more. You are very close to achieving your goal. Don't give up. Do not give up. Three aces coming your way. The moon is supporting you. Romantic offer is going to be given to you. Or from the same partner you already with, if you are in a partnership, in a, in a relationship, or somebody new, or somebody you just met, just dealing with. But you get all the support from the universe Everything what you need is here. Don't let your inner struggles, don't you let your negative mindset, don't let your fear-based uh, uh, thinkings, your negative bias tell you otherwise. It's going to be an awesome week for you. Dear Pisces, I love you a lot and I will see you in the next reading. Thank you. Thank you guys for watching my videos. Um, please check out the links below in the description box. You can get some nice little uh, jewelries from the Onyx Heaven. It's a, it's a small family shop, so every support is uh, appreciated. Thank you.